uh, quarter final of the Prince Albert Imperial College London versus Harvard University Attention. A. Go! And once again, it's about driving the boats out in this Cox for event for students and an expectancy Imperial College very fast out the blocks. We've got Ollie Holmes, Tristan Belouz, Ben Thomas, Miles Holbert, Eleanor Smith. She is the woman in the front of the boat for the Imperial College. And as expected, they have gone out hard. But Harvard University on the right hand side, you can see them there. The determination on the stroke man's face. They are going to be uh, in for a fight today. They went off really quick, which was unusual for the American crews that we're seeing here. They went off at 50 strokes a minute to Imperials 43. Both of these boats are selected crews here in this event for the Prince Albert Challenge Cup, which means that they've only done one race previous to this one, whereas many of the other crews have done two. But they are absolutely neck and neck. So again, we see how two different start strategies can equal out to the same effect. Imperial College on the far side, they look pretty clean and strong. They went off slightly slower, going for that length, and they haven't strode down just yet, but you can see that the Americans have started to stride it out a little bit, eking down that rate of striking and trying to get into their race rhythm and really build some boat speed for the length of the course. Yeah, absolutely. Interestingly, both these boats went 2.02 to the barrier yesterday. They went exactly the same speed, and it is panning out like that today. They are going to be neck and neck all the way down the course. And looking now, you can just see on the far side the Imperial College boat might have just taken out maybe a foot and that will give those athletes some energy and some confidence and you can see look at the relaxation there that is fantastic on the stroke man there um, miles holbrook there he is concentrating he's in his boat it is flat and it is long and it's working because they are just at this stage slightly ahead of the Harvard crew and look at the bowman there, Travis Cathy. He's having a look, he's wondering what's happening. Well, looking, as you say, at Miles Holborough in the Imperial College boat, he's started to drop the rating down. They're going down to 35 strokes a minute, really concentrating on the length. You can see the effect that the wind's having, just kicking out the water ever so slightly, some of them tapping their water on the recovery. That's when they are the blades out of the water, they're rolling to front stop to drop it in. But what a great place to be racing here. They've passed some of the fantastic stands up towards the start they'll have some support there but the roar and the screams from bank will only increase there'll be a large number of supporters for imperial college on the bank on the banks here local to the uk this crew obviously uh, however we do get some traveling supporters for harvard they come over in force so i wouldn't be surprised if they get an equal measure of shouting and moral support from the bank but this looks like it's shaping up to be a really tight one they're both into their race rhythm now and they're peeking across at each other, thinking who's going to blink first. Yeah, absolutely. If you look at all the flags on the top of your the screen there, you can see how tough the headwind is that they're racing into. It'll feel that on the backs of the athletes, especially the bowman. And it's quite easy when those conditions happen, especially here on the longer course at Henley, to get a bit tense and get up into your shoulders. But we're not seeing that at all. We're looking at the moment on Imperial College, um, they have had a great part of the race and Eleanor Smith, the coxswain there, she's having a good look over um, because she can't see the Harvard crew at the moment. Her men have done a good job. They've got themselves three quarters of the length ahead at this stage and they're heading up there to the three quarter mile post and we'll be seeing those uh, marker barriers giving us the indication of where the crews are. But Imperial College, they'll be pleased with their first part of this race. Harvard University, they'll be asking questions of themselves. Are we going to be able to make more boat speeds? How are we going to make the set? Because we have a rich history in this regatta. They really do. Both of these boats are now striking 34 strokes a minute. So they're stroke for stroke. And my question is, which one of them is going to blink first? So are Harvard going to say, now we need to do it? We need to lift the rating. We need to put in a power set of 10, 15 strokes to get ourselves back in contention. And will Imperial see that and react in time to keep their nose out in front? It's just under a length. Looks like half a length according to the progress boards there. The Imperial College leading Harvard here. They both look really clean and composed. And they'll be thinking as they come up to upper attempt, is this a point in the race that we need to start to really wind it? Yeah, absolutely. The crowds are beginning to come down to the banks here at Henley Royal Regatta on day four. And um, looking at this, it is tough conditions for the athletes out there. The water is looking good, it's looking flat. 
but there is a hard wind that they're having to come into and that will make the race longer. Yesterday, these guys were racing just under seven minutes. I expect we'll be racing about 7.10, 7.20 today. And that means that you get extra strokes in, you're under physiological pain and stress for longer. And it's beginning to show now on the Imperial boat there. Looking now at Miles Holbrook, you can see that grimace, that relaxation. You know, it's beginning to hurt for these guys. You can tell he's just he's just feeling his race, race rhythm there. He knows what he needs to be doing at this stage, waiting for any calls from the coxswain to start reacting or starting to do something against the Harvard crew, who are a largely freshman squad crew here, mix of their second and third varsity crew members. But they will need to do something soon if they're going to get back into contention. They'll need to lift that rating and get back on it. Yeah, and as you see that, Peter, it does look like they are making that push at the mile. As they pass that signal, they're saying, this is it, this is the moment we have to go for home. And it's a long way to go for home from a mile. But, you know, if you're down at this point on match racing, you have to go. And Imperial, they'll know that. They will have seen that. They will have sensed that. And the question is, will they be able to hold their form together and hold this lead? Well, if anything, Imperial has seen that Harvard are trying to do something because there was some slight change in the rhythm in that Harvard boat. But Imperial are extending their lead, so they're starting to really build up for a strong finish here. The rating is ever so slightly creeping north, but they're not quite getting themselves some clear water ahead of this Harvard crew. We're coming up to the enclosures where we're going to hear some more screams from the bank. There's some great support there. There's a lot of people as the crowds really start to fill up in the enclosures. But Imperial College are looking pretty set to take this. Harvard up to 38 strokes a minute. Imperial, they are pain itch etched on their faces, but they are pressing on and they're coming into the dirty water here. And it really is a matter of concentration. Harvard are throwing everything at it. Look at their rating now. We're up into the 40s and they are giving it everything they do have. Imperial will have to respond because look at the pain on the Harvard athletes' faces. They're looking over, they're driving it on. They are determined to give a complete race of this. They want that place in the semi-final. Oh my goodness, what a race. What a finish there, taking them, raising up to 40 strokes a minute. A real grimace on the stroke of Ryan Rasmussen in that Harvard boat. But he did it. He got his crew up to another gear, up to another level of racing. And with it, the boat speed that it took to overhaul the Imperial College boat in the last 200 metres. An incredible finish from that largely freshman crew.